MSRP is a research program for the summer that pairs students with labs doing work that's interesting and relevant to them. MSRP and the research that I've been engaging with is a really collaborative environment. MSRP is a fully immersive, all-round developmental program. It's a summer research program. But it's a family. It's a support group. It's a network. It's the friends you'll make, the memories you'll build, the peers, the mentors. This is a family that will last forever. This summer I've had two MSRP students in my team. It's Ilham Ali and Anisha Nangawa. They've worked together on one combined research project and it's in collaboration with a company based in the city of Cotonou in Benin, West Africa. Greenkeeper Africa harvests water hyacinth um, and turns into material that absorbs oil-based waste. And they're interested in better understanding where the plant will grow so they can focus collection efforts there. On the hardware side, she's helping us identify what kinds of commercially available water sensors can best understand where the water is most likely to lead to the growth of this invasive water plant. So we're looking at how to use water quality sensors to figure out where the water hyacinth will grow, and also using complex systems modeling to understand how human behavior is impacted by the water hyacinth. I work specifically on the data analysis side of it. So we can actually differentiate um, vegetation from space using the different wavelength bands that we can collect from satellite data. So we've been creating maps um, based on that. The largest challenge in satellite data is actually analyzing the data. So in the future, we hope to completely automate this process so that the maps of the water hyacinth extent can update in real time or near real time. The mission of Space Enabled is advancing justice in Earth's complex systems using designs enabled by space. And what drew me to this is the opportunity to use um, technology and my engineering background towards social and environmental issues. I am thankful that this summer, my two MSRP students have been surrounded by other undergraduates at MIT, as well as graduate students and even guest researchers from other places. We all share how we are finding different ways to work on these issues of development and justice. I've always been really interested in working on the United Nations Sustainable Development Goals. They're very measurable, practical, but also um, really important and valuable uh, outcomes. Working on space technology to be able to advance those is something that I can see myself doing long into the future. I've always been interested in biology and engineering and everything, but it's still a broad field and I didn't know what specifically I wanted to go into. I lost my dad to kidney failure in 2013, and this was Jay's before his transplant. And I was like, if like we could just create this from the patient's stem cells. So like that's when my interest in like material science and biology and engineering just began to make so much sense. A lot of people in our group are developing tissue engineering models using microfluidic platforms. And this summer, Echinol is specifically helping me work on a model that uses induced pluripotent stem cells to develop a cardiac fibrosis and pulmonary fibrosis model. My past experience was involved in cancer research, so colon and breast cancer research. But most of my work was done on a two-dimensional in vitro plate. So coming here to MIT, I've been able to develop models in 3D systems, being able to create something that mimics this physiological system in vitro reduces the need for animal sacrifices to test your drugs and for disease progression and would also increase the um, efficiency of translation into clinical trials. One of my major challenges has always been with my self-confidence in terms of like my research abilities but within a couple weeks of being here at MIT I've felt more empowered to do the research I do here. I think that's very, very important because being able to believe in oneself, um, believe in one's abilities, I think is vital towards having, maintaining that drive to keep on pushing. I've seen that change wherein I begin to believe more in myself and my abilities and my accomplishments. Last summer I entered the Urban Risk Lab um, aspiring to um, be engaged with the social side of the profession, tackling built environment problems through architecture and planning. There is an increasing awareness on why should natural disasters be documented. After returning to Puerto Rico, I start my semester typically and around September. My summer research from 2017 became my daily life with my family. 
Puerto Rico had two major hurricanes, which influenced a lot in my aspirations and the way I want to give back to Puerto Rico. When John Carlos first joined us last summer, we were just starting this research project on post-disaster housing systems um, in partnership with FEMA, trying to, to understand the history and impacts of disasters and government policy on housing. A big challenge with yeah, some of this work, for example, is getting all the hazard and risk profile and all of that data. What John Carlos has been focusing on is how do you translate those sort of broad concepts and bring them back to the community level, uh, sort of the local level. We still have houses with built-in wood. We have self-built homes. We have multifamily homes. We have incremental homes. A home is not a, a final product. A home is a process where a family builds on as the family keeps growing. I've learned a lot from having John Carlos. The work we've done in the last year on the, on the post-disaster housing would look completely different without his involvement. It's been through MSRP that I've had the tools, the support structure, the faculty, the mentors to start understanding and visualizing my future contribution to not only Puerto Rico, the Caribbean archipelagos, but also the world. Pods here have um, 10 students in each pod, there are four pods, and there are two pod leaders who are both graduate students at MIT. We meet once a week. We might go out to Boston and explore, or we might do something local in Cambridge and you know, try new foods or, or other places. And we'll eat dinner together and talk about the highs and lows of our week, and about things we're struggling with, and kind of also just hang out, and it's kind of like a family dinner once a week. During my undergrad years at MIT, my experience was really shaped by uh, a few really strong mentors I had and a lot of my motivation for being a mentor is to sort of perpetuate that sort of experience and kind of give it back. I did MSRP in 2015 and for me it was the summer experience that really solidified uh, my interest as a researcher and I think really helped me prepare a very good graduate application and ultimately led to me coming here. So I always wanted to give back by being a program assistant. MSRP is like a tunnel where you come in as an undergraduate student with an undergraduate student mind, and then you come out with a graduate student prepared mindset. There's a really great community aspect to the MSRP program. Everyone is so interesting and so brilliant. I've grown socially. I've developed professionally and personally. MSRP is not just a program, MSRP is a way of thinking. MSRP has been a really great experience, probably the best summer that I've ever had. <laughs>